Well, hey, how are you doing? My name is Willie Lawson. I am the progenitor of the Saxophone Factory here on YouTube. I trust that you are well. I trust that um, you've been able to get benefit and value out of the videos that I've done so far. Uh, thank you for, for, for those of you who have subscribed. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, th please share the videos with your friends and, 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 your, and your fellow musicians. We talk about a little bit more than just the saxophone sometimes. We get into a little bit of the basic theory of music. And um, I trust that these explanations have helped you, especially on like time signature and scales and key signatures and the like. Uh, we are going to do more of our, our work in the Rubank elementary method for saxophone. But today, um, instead of, we're, we're supposed to do lesson 25 and then 26, I'm going to skip 25 and 26. And it's because I've offered a couple of my students uh, the opportunity to help me with those lessons to put up, up here on YouTube. So we haven't gotten there yet. That's probably going to be next week. So I'm going to skip the lesson 27 because I, I, I don't want you to stop playing. I want you to continue to play. Uh, so what we're going to do is do the lesson 27, the review lesson for development of technique. Now when we talk about technique, we're talking about three specific places. We're talking about our embouchure, our tongue, and our fingers. We will not be able to have good technique unless there is coordination between our embouchure, our tongue, and where our fingers are and our hand position. Hand position is vital to have good technique. All three of these exercises are in 6-8. You remember that there are six counts per measure and an eighth note gets one count. Um, they are in three different keys. The number one is in the key of G, number two is in the key of B flat, and number three is in the key of D. All right, just like always, if I play the exercise too fast, stop the video, practice, and then start playing again. All right, this is number one, lesson 27. Review lesson for development of technique. <laughs> fingers close to the instrument will allow you to play faster when it comes time to play faster if you have to and make it easier to coordinate with the tongue so let me play the last couple of measures last few measures a lot faster so you can see the benefit <laughs> You see how my left hand stays really close to my, my instrument? Making sure the fingers stay close to the instrument, that we don't have flyaway fingers like that. That is very bad. You don't want that. All right, number two. Number two. Lesson 27. Here we go. <laughs> There you go, lesson two. Now, lesson three has a lot more slurs in it, especially in the beginning. Uh, that's part of developing when the tongue and when not the tongue. And it is in the key of D with two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. Here we go. <laughs> There 
you go. And if I played them too quickly, stop the video, practice, listen, listen and finger along, and then try it again. That's Lesson 27. Thank you ever so much for watching. Thank you ever so much for subscribing. Um, if you have any questions, any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I appreciate you very much. Until the next video, keep playing. Bye-bye now.